I S U P K. How much money they got? How they gonna split the money up? Where the money's gonna go to? We shouldn't give money to this person. We should take this money and do that. That's what's going on in your churches, and especially in the mega churches. That's why all of the pastors in the mega churches get all of that money and then they move to California, man. Move out to California and get the big mansion that they don't got enough for robbing everybody. We don't heard countless stories of it. Even E News brought it out, man. They brought it out how these Christian pastors were robbing the people and robbing the congregation and taking the money and moving out to California with the money, man. And they had to chase some of these pastors down and ask them questions like, what are you doing out here in California? Last time we checked, you had a church out here in so-and-so. When did you move to um, California? How did you get the money for these things? Because your, the money that we've seen doesn't estimate to how you can afford this place, man. Right. We know how they come up with that money. From your grandmothers, man. From these single black women, from these single Hispanic women, from these single Native American women with no hope, man, believing in these Christian churches and these false pastors. That's, That's how they come up with the money to fund themselves, to get these Maseratis, to get these Bentleys, to get all these various cars, man, and live deliciously, man. They get that from robbing the people, man. And the Bible calls them false prophets, man. It's like, so you read it from the top again, sir? Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And that time is now, man. Your pastors do not listen to the sound of the doctrines, man. They don't care about the scriptures in the Bible, man. You ask the pastor, man, how many laws are there according to the Bible? He's going to tell you it's only 10 commandments. When it's more than 10 commandments in the Bible. The Most High gave us more than 10 commandments. Thou should not eat pork. A man should not lie with man as he do with mankind. Those are laws and statutes in the Bible, man. That your Christian pastor won't bring out. Because 9 out of 10, most of your Christian pastors are homosexuals. And they support it. That's why they are homosexuals in the churches. All of these people in there doing drugs. You can't change when you go join the Christian church, man. Because your pastor isn't fixing anybody. He's a false prophet, man. Yeah, right. But after their own lust. But after they what? Their own lust. But after TJJ's what? Own lust. After Kurt Low Dollars what? Own lust. After Kurt Franklin's what? Own lust. After Joel Austin's what? Own lust. That's what they're going after. Their own lust, man. That's what right. benefits them? What makes them better? What right. they can gain from everything? Right. That's what they're doing, man. Going after their own lust, man. That's why you hear about so many different allegations in the churches with these pastors sleeping with brothers' women. With these pastors molesting these children, man, because they go after their own lust, man. And that's why we say in the ISUPK that the Christian church is the house of Satan, man. Because they don't produce anything good, man, but evil and wickedness, man. Because they teach you how to go after your own lust, man. That's what you learn in the Christian church, how to go after your own lust. Christianity isn't for blacks, man. Christianity isn't for Latinos. Christianity isn't for Native Americans. Christianity was a religion designed for white supremacists, man. That's why they benefit tremendously from it. Because it's designed for them. All of these churches are wicked, man. That's right! All of them, man. These pastors don't know nothing. Bring them here and we'll mop the floor with them. Bring them here, set up a debate, we'll mop the floor with them. We'll show you, man, that your Christian pastor doesn't know nothing. He, he just teach lies. He know how much your check's gonna be. That's what he does know. He know how much that check gonna be. But he don't know nothing about these scriptures. Bring them here, and we'll mop the floor with them, man. You got it. Sir. They heat.
to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their own ears from the truth and that's what these Christian pastors have done man they turned their ears away from the truth man we don't ran into plenty of Christian pastors man and we asked them about the Bible asked them questions about the law statutes and commandments and you know what they tell us oh that's in the Old Testament that's done away with man but what about the laws of doing with tithes where's the laws of tithes found at man that's found in the Old Testament it's amazing that every other law is done away with but paying tithes isn't done away with man that's why the Bible says they have turned their ears away from hearing the truth man for him the truth of the Bible they don't care nothing about these laws statutes and commandments of the Bible because your Christian pastor is a false prophet man all of them all of them, each and every one of them man all of them are false prophets and they do not know the Bible man they turn their ear from hearing the truth according to the Bible because they don't know the law statutes and commandments of the Bible they don't know who the Israelites are they don't know who everybody is according to the Bible but here in the RSUPK man we do know the truth man the truth is not in your Christian church on Sunday, man. It's right here in the ISUPK, man. So like, sir, you can read that again, sir. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. And that's what's going on in these Christian churches, man. They're turning their ears away from the truth, man. That's why we say the Christian church is the house of Satan, man. Because right. the only thing that's going on in there is lies, man. Right. Teaching us that Jesus Christ was a white man. When according to the Bible, Jesus Christ was a black man. Right. Teaching us that the Jews are the white people over there with those small hats on their head. When the Jews are here in America. When the Jews are Negroes, man. When the 12 tribes of Israel are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Here in captivity serving out their punishment for going against our God. They're not teaching that truth, man. They turn their ears from it. You ask any of these Christian pastors, where are the children of Israel at? Because according to the Bible, they will be saved by God, man. And the Christian pastor ain't going to teach you the truth, man. They ain't going to teach you that the so-called white man is your enemy according to the Bible. That's why we continue to be murdered in these streets. That's why we continue to be gunned down by these police officers. Because our leaders don't teach us the truth, man. They teach us lies, man. They have turned their ears away from hearing the truth, man. You tell a Christian pastor that we're getting murdered out here in the streets, he gonna tell him, well, maybe he done something wrong. Right. Maybe it was something he could have did better. Maybe we need to make programs to where we can teach brothers how to deal with police officers when they encounter them. That's no, right. man, maybe we need to tell the white man the truth that he's the devil the Bible speaks of, That's man. Right. That he's a murderer, man. That's right. That he's a rapist. That he's a child molester. Right. That everything that he has gained on this earth has been caused by bloodshed, murder rape and enslavement man right. that's the truth man right that is the truth according to the bible and your christian pastors are not going to say anything like that man because they love our enemies man they teach us lies man they turn their ears from hearing the truth man they don't want to hear this truth they turn their heads they don't want to find out the truth that the so-called white man who you believe to be jesus christ is black they don't want to hear that man they don't want to find out the truth that the children of israel are blacks here in america man they don't want to hear that truth because it's too hard for some of people to deal with. It's too hard for some people to listen. It's too hard for some people to find out that the true children of Israel are right here in America, underneath captivity, underneath, underneath the white man. Some people don't want to hear that, man. But here in the ISUPK, underneath Commander General Johanna, we're going to bring out their truth, man. It's like it, sir. You can get me first. Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, sir. We're going to bring out their truth, man. Because the Christian church isn't going to do it, man. They're going to continue to lie to you, man. These Christian churches have been established ever since the early 1800s, man. During the time when we was on the slave plantations, on the plantations picking cotton, man. And these Christian pastors were lying to us, man. Teaching us how to be good slaves. That's the only thing that we receive from these Christian churches, man. How to be good slaves, man. How to be better servants. And how to take a bullet in the head and continue to bow down and pray. And ask the pastor, ask the pastor, what we going to do now, pastor? What can we do to, to fix everything? We got to come together and march. We got to hold our hands up. Uh, 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 all lives matter, man. We got to do that. Because we can't go out there and stand up and get real justice. Our Christian pastors ain't going to teach us that truth, man. They're going to continue to lie to us, man. Leave it in the hands of them. We'll be continue to be brainwashed for another 200, 300 years. We'll be still in these streets getting murdered. It'll be 2,000. 220 man and we'll still be getting murdered in the streets because our Christian pastors will continue to lie to us man these Christian churches don't teach no truth 
Black people gonna go to church tomorrow and, and, and pray to God and think they're doing the right thing, man. That's Thinking right. that they're serving God. Right. But in truth, man, they're gonna be getting lied to. Right. That right. false prophet is gonna That's be teaching right. them lies, man. That's right. All of these false prophets, man, right. your Farrakhan, right. your polite. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else we got out there, man? T.D. Jakes, man. Yeah, right. All of these false prophets ain't doing nothing, man, but swimming in money. Right. I seen a video with Polite over there in California with Floyd Money Mayweather over there flossing with all of that money that he got from the black community, from poor people, man, from people that really believe Polite was gonna do something for black people. That's right. That's what Polite's doing. He's over there sipping wine, sipping wine out the glass, bumping cups with uh, Floyd Money Mayweather, man. That's what he's doing. That's what he doing. The world, all, all those black people that they supported polite, man. In the ghetto, man. Still starving. Still getting shot down. Still getting murdered, man. That's what Brother Polite did for black people, man. And what about Farrakhan also, man? He's been teaching the Muslim religion for years, man. Teaching black people that we are the so-called Arabics of the Bible. Or the Arabics of the Quran. That we are Muslim. That we should bow down and worship some stupid rock, man. That's what Farrakhan taught us, man. And he's had two million man marches and black people are still murdered in these streets. They're still being oppressed. We're still at 95% in the jail system, man. What now, Farrakhan? What's the plan now, man? I remember when you told black people, what did you say, man? You said justice or else, man. Or else what, man? Or else what? We're going to continue to get shot down in the streets? Because we haven't seen nothing else from there or else, man. Because we're still getting murdered in these streets. We're still being oppressed. We still are being lynched, man. It's 2018, man. And they had an incident that happened down in Mississippi where they said they found a brother with his head cut off on the front porch and his body burnt a couple miles away, man. That's what's going on in 2018, man. Black people still being lynched and hung from trees, man. They had a sister down in Atlanta, Georgia. They found her hanging from a tree. And they're going to have the audacity to say she did it to herself. Come on, man. Black people know what's been going on in these places in these southern towns, man. Here in Georgia. Here in Charleston, man. Charleston has a, a horrible history, man, of murder and rape and lynching to black people, man. Right over here in this Charleston city market, man. Established in 1807, man, like it says up there. At one point in time, man, our ancestors were sold out of this building, man. And our false prophets, man, don't do anything about it, man, but continue to have us brainwashed and lost, man. Got this up. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the later in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. And that's what happens man. A lot of brothers leave this truth man. They, they find out this truth man a lot of brothers leave it man. Because these are the last days man. You're going to see a lot of people that ain't going to listen to this truth. That ain't going to follow this truth. That ain't going to believe this truth man. They going to leave it man. They going to separate from it. They ain't going to even come up and listen to it anymore man. Giving heed to the seducing spirits. You want what? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Father, know these false religions. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Reading the Quran. Seducing spirits. Following Buddhism. Seducing spirits. Following Christianity. Seducing spirits. And that's what's happening, man. A lot of people fall away this from this truth, man, and they follow seducing spirits, man. That's Following all these different religions, all of these different doctrines. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm a Buddhist. Oh, I'm an atheist. Oh, I believe this. Oh, I believe that. That's what's happening now, man, because these are the lines. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword. 